Good morning everyone, my name is Antonius Eko Nubruho and I am one of the authors of this work about SEF recombinant as a potential receptor for SARS-CoV-2 biosensor based on SVR. First about the introduction. Recently, the most used and approved methods for detecting SARS-CoV-2 is antigen swab and RT-PCR. However, those methods has their own limitations. So we propose a new method, a new idea in detecting SARS-CoV-2 using the SEFV protein as the bioreceptor to create an affordable and quick detection method. Also, a SPR technique, surface plasma resonance, to create a non-discrete result or creating a value. In this case, intensity value. And then about the SPR and the SEFV itself. SPR or surface plasma resonance is a tool for analyzing the protein binding activity which causes the change of surface permittivity. The surface permittivity, which based on this formula, when the surface permittivity is changed, so the critical angle is also changed. The change of critical angle creates a difference of intensity emitted by the source and received by the photodiode. Therefore, this technique has the output of the value of intensity. And about the SEFV protein, SEFV or single chain fragment variable is, a small, is the smallest functional unit of the antibody and it consists of variable light and variable heavy, which are generally easier to be modified and expressed than the whole antibody itself. Besides, the expressed protein of SEFV can be found in both of the cell periplasmic where it is expressed and the growth medium as well. And this is the SPR implementation on biosensors development targeting the viruses and bacteria. And our focus in this work is the binding activity of the RPD of S protein SARS-CoV-2 and the SEFV CR3022. We aim to prove the potential of SEFV CR3022 to be the bioreceptor for detecting SARS CoV 2 using the SPR technique. It's worth to note that a biomolecular study of the design of the SEFV was prepared in the separated publication. Our methodology first. The immobilization. First of all, we drop about 25 microliters of SEFV onto the cold surface and let it rest for about 90 minutes. And then we wash it into the PBS pH 7.4 and we try it using the dust blower as the shown in this picture and after that we drop about 50 microliters of PSA or bovine serum albumin and let it rest about 10 minutes and we wash it again and dry it using the same methods and for creating the immobilized blade shown in this slide and this is our nano SPR 8 configurations for the prism the angle range and the monitor mode this is our workflow so the first stage is to compare the SEFV performance from the different 
harvesting source the cell periplasmic and the growth medium and then the best SEFE was purified in the next stage using the column chromatography technique and then it is compared to the unpurified one to see which is the best and the best one is used is used in the systems and we do the characterization in the final stage to determine the binding coefficient specificity and also its stability and also it is worth to note that this work was done using the rpd of s protein of SARS-CoV-2 and here is our results so in comparing the performance of SEFE from different harvesting source we got the graph A and the blue bar which represents the performance of the medium growth SEFE and the graph B and the red bar to show the periplasmic SEFE performance and from these results we conclude that the periplasmic SEFE is the better one so we choose the periplasmic SEFE to be purified in the next stage and the purification process uh, is proved to be to enhance the response of the periplasmic SEFE as shown in the graph in this slide and therefore after seeing this enhancement we choose the purified periplasmic SEFE for the biosensor systems and then after characterizing the systems using the long wave friendly adsorption model we got this parameters and from these parameters we can obtain the limit of detection at 8.34 nanograms per milliliters and also we did the specificity test using influenza A virus and the avian coronavirus which has similarity in the family level and it shows that the re result that the system is specific enough for the SARS-CoV-2 detection system and then the stability test shows that the system the developed system is better to be used before the day three after its immobilization because in the day three or after its immobilization the performance has dropped nearly about 20 percent and then we also did the comparison study on the nasopharyngeal sample and our system's limit in nasopharyngeal samples the lowest concentration possible is about 7.08 nanograms per milliliters meanwhile in our, our system's limit is only on the 8.34 nanograms per milliliters therefore future works for decreasing the limit of detection should be done so our conclusions SEFVCR3022 has high potential for SARS-CoV-2 detection and the optimum SEFV harvest source is the cell periplasmic the purification, the purification is proved to be enhanced the system to enhance the system and also we got the parameters for the binding specificity and the future works should be done as as shown in this slide.
so that's it uh, that's all about our work thank you for your attention